welcome to the Livy Lab. And the reason we're in the Livy Lab is that there is a computer on the table in the lab waiting for the surgeon to arrive. And if you want to see more information about that, uh, the video before this one is the teaser one for it. That's quite interesting. But, yes, it is the start of a new video era and a new era for the lab. For in this bag is a new project from the same people that bought you Star Trek Starships, yes, from Eagle Moss. This is issue one to four, because I'm a subscriber of the Build It Yourself 3D printer. Yeah, bit of a curiosity this one, and Fluffy was even more interested in this than me. So she was determined to get me to subscribe to this. So. Yeah, it took me many hours of convincing you. So, uh, as a subscriber I should get issues one to four and some free gifts. It doesn't say whether those free gifts come with different issues or whether they all come at the start, but this is quite heavy so we'll see what they've sent. And it's all tucked away neatly in this file. So what I'm going to do is empty the file of its contents. And the answer to the latter is no. <laughs> so, here we have the folder. 3D Create and Print. It's quite a nice folder. The printer itself, I'll put a link to their website so you can have a look at the details if you're interested in yourself. I know that uh, a few of my subscribers and the people on my Facebook group are. Uh, the V3 designed by Sebastian Common Associates, Eagle Moss Collections. Eagle Moss Collections V3. There you go. Now you can either buy this. Oh, and it's just this time they actually put instructions in there. That's good. Yay! Woo! They've learned. Yay! Uh, you can either buy this printer outright, which is six nine nine. Seven hundred pounds. Yep. Special introductory offer. Or you can build it over. 90, I think it's 90 weeks, uh, which is the option I've gone for because I can't afford 700 quid, so it's cheaper to do it weekly. Uh, well, it's not cheaper, but you know, it feels less evasive. Although, the there are spread out more, there are arguments against you know building a printer over a year and a half because it's going to change. But there you go, I'm not doing industrial, this is just for personal use, I'm not industrial use, so. It ma doesn't matter too much. I do the state state of the art OCD type printer. However, if Mr. Taxman wants to give me a tax return for approximately seven hundred pounds, that would be greatly appreciated. Yeah, we go towards this. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, mm. Um, would you like to sort this out, Fluffy, into issues? <laughs> and what that. goes with issues? Right, um, because I have no idea, and then you can pass them to us. Yay! Okay, right. There's Wonky quite a bit, bit of bobs oh. here. I don't know when all the gifts arrive. They probably I think come they're with spread out. With like the star ships, they probably come with Two, different things. What's that come with? The bottom. Comes with the bottom. Yeah. Kinky. A wide gantry bottom cover. Okay, right. I'll just get the magazine first. Um. um. Uh -huh. I can actually tell you what the bottom looks like when I uh, see this. Oh, excuse me. Uh, it's probably on the back. Well, that tells you what it comes with number two. Uh, well, it actually should tell you how to put them together, so uh, it's probably in here. I assume but, it's the, the uh, let's have a look. The magazine <laughs> is designed to tell. To Train you on the art of 3D printing. My light's being a pain there. So, in this issue, V3 printer parts, Y Gantry bottom cover, 3D modeling step by step. Is there anything that can't be printed? I know somebody's been printing a house. Oh, hello. What's that? Is that manuals? Oh, right. Oh, we'll sort of deal with that in a moment. I should just look at this episode one here. Designed by Sebastian Conran Associates. Ooh, whatever. Uh, that's the completed article. It prints at 0.2 millimeters per level resolution. Uh, 
What's the dimensions of the plate of the printout? Okay, we'll go to this and I'll look at the printer first. Right. I okay. It over, but you can... All right. Uh, introducing Vector 3, your 3D printer. Designed by internationally acclaimed product designer Sebastian Conran, your 3D printer operates much like an inkjet printer, but instead of printing ink onto paper, the 3D nozzle gradually builds up layers of plastic material to create a physical 3D object. I think most of my followers are going to understand that already, so. Anywho. It's a single jet nozzle, 0.2 millimeters. I was right there. Can print with a composite PLA or strong recycle ABS. Now, I believe a lot of the cheaper ones, uh, about 250, 250, 300 quid, can only do one. So that's quite good, and it's half the thickness of some of them. The layer thickness is 0.2, which is about the same as uh, duh, duh. zero waste. Prints one layer at a time using only the amount of material required for each object. I should bloody hope so. Prints ah, here we go. Any object up to 14, sorry, 140 millimeters. So that's 14 centimeters by 14 centimeters by 135 millimeters, which is 13 and a half centimeters. Print speed is 10 to 100 cubic centimeters an hour. Yeah, about an hour, an hour and a half, two hours to print a full size object on its tray. I believe that the tray moves instead of the nozzles on this, I've been told. Uh, printer weight is 8 kilograms, doesn't matter. Printer size is 40 centimeters by 295 millimeters, which is 29.5 centimeters, by 35.6 centimeters. Uh, 100 to 200 volts, 144 watts. Input format is STL. Uh, yep. Uh, Windows XP, Windows 7. I got Windows 8. Mac OS 10.7 and above. And the printer interface software, a customized version of a Repetier host provided with the printer parts. I believe that uh, looking at the website, there's like two levels of software. They start with simple software and move on to more complex as it goes on. So the printer is here. A little shark being printed out there just for your illustration. Uh, there you go. Loads of folding going on here. Are we supposed to get four shoes? I don't know. Why? That's it, it's issue four, but it's no issue four. Ooh, I don't know. One, there's three, two, one, one, did it. Hmm, we've got a part from issue four. Weird! I don't know if issue four has supposed to come with this. I imagine it does. It's supposed to be a month. Possible fail, may have to contact them. Uh, hmm. Anyway, in the meantime, uh, the mainframe, hood tabs, hood lifting mechanism. Uh, yeah, 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 print bed. Uh, multi core processor, 2 gigs or faster per core. System RAM, 2 gigs, screen resolution 1024 by 768. Uh, Software. The software that links your computer to your Vector 3 printer will be supplied later in this series. It has a user-friendly interface, is easy to use and is accompanied by step-by-step -step instructions, expert tips and troubleshooting advice in the magazine. Uh, parts clip or screw together. The only tool you need is a screwdriver. I'm obviously editing this as we'll be here for hours and loads of stuff to get you interested there. Producing your own. Ah, it's alive! Well, oh, and so is the camera. Uh, producing your own Monopoly stuff. So, mm. right. Hmm, so, hmm. What if. Mm. Let's have a look. Anyway, there's issue one, we'll see what happens. Issue one! Do, 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 do. Welcome to the 3D print revolution. Imagine a world in which you can magically create your own three-dimensional products at the press of a few buttons. You can stop imagining. It's already here. <laughs> so we have uh, the world of 3D printing, uh, 3D design tutorial, 3D printing techniques, build your 3D printer. So that's the parts. 
yeah, there you go, assembly instructions. Design files, and a library of professionally created 3D design files in SDEO format, including exclusives to print and enjoy. And work smarter, shortcuts, cheat sheets, and lots of helpful hints and tips to enhance your 3D modeling experience. But it won't enhance my whacking of the camera all the time. Okie dokie. Uh, Oh, yeah. Where's my tea? There's my tea. Need some tea. Hmm. Right, some stuff on the history of 3D printing. Uh, looking at designage. I'm not going to spend too much time on the magazines. This could be here for hours. Uh, Jargon Buster, getting started in SketchUp Make. So. Download, yeah, get this software offline, download, install, and start learning to use the software. Your workspace. <laughs> Foundation course, basic 3D modeling techniques. There you go, Fluffy. You can learn to make a house. Minions. Hmm? Monopoly house, she wants to make minions. And dragons. Minions, dragons, dragons. 3D scanning. Home 3D scanners. Cool. Huh. Get some you can get home 3D scanners now. To recreate minions. You can scan minions and recreate them. Mm. Don't start me. Ah, right, effect three stage one. Which is that one. Oh, that's heavy. Um, that's not Yes it is. Is it? Yep. There's the thingy, there's the joints. How many bits have we got? One, two, three. There's three packages. Yes, but it says there, don't miss issue three with that, and that's issue three. Issue three says you get that, which is issue four. There we go. Is that okay? Oh, why shaft belt hold and fixing screw? There you go. That's not a Y shaft. No, that's different. No. I think you might be incorrect at the moment. That's not it. That's not that. It's not a Y shaft. Let's sort it out as I go through. Right. So, this is what we'll be doing in a bit. We're going upstairs and start to build it. Yes. Mm. We'll be doing time lapse of the entire year and nearly two years. A year, over a year and a half building this. This is quite heavy metal, so we should be in upstairs and building this. That should be interesting to see it done over a time lapse period. Okay, so there's that one. Starting to build it. Uh, time to get inspired. The design files. Once you have your head around the concept of printing physical objects in 3D, it follows that you may wish to try printing items for yourself. The design files on these pages are all free to download. Cool. So you can build, you can get a head, <clears throat> you can get a gyro ball. I'm going to print a gyro ball when I'm finished. I've always wanted a gyro ball since I saw one a few weeks ago. Oh, <clears throat> okay. oh chest set! You've sorted it. That is issue one. Yes, this is issue what one. The... the back doesn't match up with what's on the front. And there's your parts. So your parts go into what we've already got here. Yeah. There you go. So it's yeah, it does seem to work. A chest set. A cut look like. Oh, two pieces of a chest set. White. King and a pawn belong to opposing sets. Okay, so you get two pieces of a chest set. And a whistle. Which they seem to be publishing everywhere. Catapult! Cool! I would I'll have part. to build a castle so we can demolish the castle with said catapult. Yeah, and finishing touches, which is handy because you always they never print uh, perfectly smooth. Don't miss issue two, which comes with the shaft and those two pieces. That's issue two. Right. So, let's go to issue two. Issue one there with the bits. And then we can sort all this stuff out upstairs. Issue two, please. Thank you very much. We now go to green. Mmm, sexy. 
Oh, hello. How 3D printing is transforming medicine. In this issue, uh, why 3D printer parts? Why shaft and fixing base? 3D modeling step by step. You could learn to 3D model. Should that be a marketable skill? Week by week. You, you could actually. 3D modeling? People do that for a living. Possible career change. Yeah, there you go. Something you can do from home. How 3D printing is transforming medicine and the usual guy looking very... Yeah, because only guys are interested in technology. There you go, there's a, there's a hint from Fluffy, uh, Eagle Moss. Yeah, girls can't be geeks either. And it's the same guy again. In a different pose, looking very contemplative. Yeah, so there's a hint from Fluffy. Get some girls! She likes girls. No, girls are geeks too. Right, the world of 3D printing, uh, same stuff. 3D design tutorial, 3D printing techniques, build your own 3D printer, design files, and that's work smarter. What's that for? Oh, oh, I have to, oh, I didn't notice that. Oh, right, I have to cover them. So we can download okay. our patterns. That's covered, as you're seeing. <clears throat> uh, right, uh, 3D printing in medicine. Uh, drawing healthy new cells in 3D. Wow. There are actually organic printers so it being worked on to print organic parts. You can't literally have one of them yet. out of cells. Skills for SketchUp. Now that you've had your first experience with SketchUp and can see the possibilities in 3D design, it's time to start building the skills and knowledge you need to create and perfect your own 3D designs. Cool. So measure it out step by step. This section explains how to set the size of an object in SketchUp. We'll practice creating rectangles using precise measurements, then find out how to alter the size of an object we've already drawn. Okay, okay. Uh, meet the offset tool. Box clever. Ooh. Now that you've learned how to set the size of objects you can cre you <laughs> objects you create and how to use the offset tool, you're ready to use your knowledge in a design exercise. Follow the steps on the following pages to create a box in 3D. And you send it to the printer if you so desire. Or you can create Aztec like towers. Ziggurat. Where'd you read that? I'm clever. Oh, okay. I'm sick. Well, I like Somewhere is. Oh, I could create my own little weird things. Which need printing. Yeah. I'm not painting them. Oh, okay. Files for 3D printing, you can print out girlies and um, you'd have to print them up. High quality design and input, your imagination to some design skills will allow you to achieve excellent results as demonstrated by the 3D printed cheerleader above. I want a real cheerleader 3D printed organic. When do we get to that bit? When do we get to that bit? You can't have one. Which has been printed and finished to high standard. Oh, they're at the bottom aren't they? That's high standard. Mm -hmm. The stylized cheerleader shape would be described in countless thousands of triangles in an ST file. Sure, yeah, I did read that right. Mm. Would it print that fine? I don't know. I have no idea. Mm. Did you know the simplest 3D shape that can be made is a tetrahedron, which is a pyramid with just four triangular faces. The STL file for tetrahedron would consist of information describing just four triangles. There we go. All the 3D file formats. Um, assembly instructions for part two. Ooh. Ooh. Your parts. Which matches up with this. Oh no, it doesn't. Matches up with this. Ta da! There's the parts for part two metal shaft and two thingies. Little thingies. Thingy bobs. Do Eagle Moss. Warning, the project is not suitable for children under 14 years old. Handle with care. Hmm. I'm betting a certain seven-year-old of our acquaintance could probably figure it out. Yeah. So, yep, that's part two of building the printer itself. An iPhone protector. Chest. Oh, we get more. Oh, right, you get more files for the chest set. So you can print out an entire Horses. chest set. Horses. Or you can take the files for the chest set and alter them slightly to your requirement. An iPhone protector. Hmm. Nah. You buy an iPhone. 
Ah, this looks more interesting. A star puzzle. I've got a sniffle. It's an improvement. I've got a sniffle. Uh, so these are things you can download from the website if you're a like subscriber. Them. And uh, you can... No, I might print one of them out in a year and a half. And then I can sit there and then get mode with myself because I can't put it together. Yeah. So you can download all these from the website and print them out. Uh, in theory. Hopefully it works. And a quick reference card for... Sketchup! And part three. Oh, the Y-axis linear bearing. Which is that. So the other parts are right. Yes, what's confused me is the second part. Man will sort you out. Man will sort you out. Woman will hit you if not careful. Man has moved. Man is now raising his thing. It's probably the only action he gets all week. Hmm. Anyway, he works for Eagle Moss, I'm sure he gets loads of action. Yeah. In this issue, how long have we been going? 21 minutes. In the session, V3 printer part, Y-axis linear block bearing, 3D modelling step by step, can you 3D print a masterpiece? I need, probably need a very expensive one to do that, uh, let's have a look. Usual stuff, so don't need that. Print me a masterpiece. Sculpture is at the cutting edge of many 3D design and printing applications. Experiments in 3D printed art are pushing the boundaries in every aspect of the technology. From software and scanning through to the materials used for printing. That's one idea I did have actually, because I used to do those videos of the little ships running around in 3D. You can actually print the ships. Blender. Mm, blender. Yes, Blender works with the printer. It's 3D. Yes, it exports at the right format. Yes, I shall remove that. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, artist, architect, and designer Daniel Wearable artworks are sculpted laser polyamide 3D prints based on body forms and tissues. This piece is designed to be worn around the neck and over the shoulders. I'm sure that's from a very large printer. I'm sure that's very uncomfortable to wear. Possibly. It's an artist that's got to be comfortable, else they'll just be wimpy and <laughs> Uh Yeah, so that's good. But I very much doubt it's from one of these printers. It's going to be from a very expensive one. They're quite good, they're phone holders. Even looks like me. Sort of. That's Atlas. Naked. Steven. You have to get your, your printing skills done. Stephen. Well. I think that's supposed to be Atlas who carries the weight of the world upon his shoulders. I've carried an Atlas, they're heavy. Mm. Right, okay. Greek okay. mythology, dear. Yeah, uh, between the lines, 3D designers understand the importance of positioning entities accurately in relation to each other. To how this sketchup allows you to set guidelines which make precise uh, and precise placement simpler. There we go. So you can learn more of the 3D software. Put a lid on it. It's time to create our lid to finish off the box you designed in the previous issue. I got the feeling that was already finished, but there we go. Oh well. No, I already told you how to build the box. This is the box lid. Ah, let's split it over two. So there we go. You can print the lid of the box. Wunderbar. Handy. How 3D printers work. Uh, I know how they work because I actually work with some of the top end ones. Yeah. I don't actually yeah, operate them, but I've seen them work, so I have a good idea of how they work. Uh, okay, so, so there you go, printing the froggy woggy print head. Assembly instructions for part three the bearings. Ooh. We'll be doing that in a moment. B three three, issue three, issue two. Yep. Yeah. Every issue apart from issue one has come in. I'm wondering how the big pieces of the case will come. That should be interesting. In a box. Probably, especially the uh, plastic. <clears throat> yes, the see-through bits, and we get a very ill-defined skull. It's the red skull out of uh, Captain America one. Uh, 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 you say so. It's very low definition that. I'd have to play with that. And more the chess set. I might print this chess set out. Might not. <laughs> be interesting to get it painted up. That'd be nice. 
There's gold there. Actually, if you do silver there, we'll use gold for the white. Yes, yeah, that'd look quite good, actually. Fluffy! Silver highlights, silver highlights, and silver highlights on the bit. Yeah, Fluffy! Am I going to have to use my skills as a formal model maker? Yeah. Okay. Because I am going expandable bracelet. Yeah, interesting. Bike spoke access. I don't think I need that one. Expandable bracelet. I don't think I need that one. Although the kiddies might be interested in that. Yes, I, th I think a certain someone would be interested in printing her own jewellery or trying to print a doll. Yes. Ah, oh, Master the Mouse. Oh, right, okay. Um, I have. A three button mouse? Yes! Yay! You have a trap ball. Same thing, really. Uh, I have a trap ball as well. I prefer the trap ball to the mouse. Well, there we go. And issue four there, which we will get your second Y shaft belt holder and fixing screw. Exciting! And more stuff. So, that is the magazines. That's the part. And we shall, yes, go upstairs with our parts and our magazines and start of the building of the printer. Are we excited? This is going to take a year <laughs> and a half. Well, 90 weeks roughly. 80 to 90 weeks depending on who you ask. Um, so that's nearly a year and a half to two years. So, um, let's go and do that. Right, we have our surface where hopefully over the next year and a half, nearly two years, we're going to build this thing and then we'll do a complete time lapse at the end. In the meantime, uh, we're going to do a time lapse of me doing the, the first three weeks. So, I um, don't know where this goes on the finished printer. Um, shaft fixing base. So all we do, oh right, I think, oh this is all for the printer. So, no oh well, we'll build it as it's come. And, uh, wish me luck. It shouldn't be too difficult. This is one there, let's go. Bit of time lapse, please. Thank you very much. Right, that's week one. Uh, week two, just looking at instructions here when I can find them. Week two, ah, right, so we've got uh, week two is to put this bolt in. Let's have a look. Okay, so it goes mm, down there. Right, get rid of the crap from week one. And find week two. Here is week two. Uh -huh. So what we've got to do, cut it open first. Be careful with the little screws when you cut open, because they try to go everywhere. So we've got to, uh, this rod seems to go into there. All right, the rod here. Anyway, I sense a time lapse coming on again. Oh yeah, time lapse is good. Right, okay. So you go into that one. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Ow. And then these two. Second one. All right. Okay. All right, that one goes in there. to do this on the floor. Okay, that is week two parts done. Uh, I suspect these will be coming off again later because there'll be another rod going in there. Let's have a look at week three. Um, where are you? Uh -huh. What have we got here then? Hmm, bearings. So we've got to take it off again. <laughs> Take that first one off again. Uh, slide in the bearings. Reattach. Let's have a look. <coughs> the bearings. Oh. The bearings are here. Ah. Uh, there's no screws on this one. So. <sighs> it goes in that way. So it goes in. That sort of way through. Let's, let's, let's get it from its packaging and get it on the Okie dokie! There she is after week three. Whew! Had a bit of trouble with that bolt, but uh, there we go. Oop, right, measure. So, there we go. That's week three of the Build Your Own 3D Printer from Eagle Moss. We shall see what ne next month brings us. Should be issue. It may be issue. Five to eight. Yep. Uh, or maybe issue four to whatever. 
four to seven because we've emailed them because we think actually four she'll be with us a lot but it doesn't so I've sent an email to see what they say thank you thank you very much please comment rate subscribe and share if you like thank you very much. you need to quit being dirty you're a dirty boy